Okay, welcome to a short little video about one of my favorite drinks. Um, it is a, what is it? It's a soda water, lemon, um, espresso drink, iced, um, good for warm afternoons or just kind of busy work days where you just need a nice good kick. Uh, you could do this with either one or two double shots. Um, I'm going to do it with two. I've prepared one already and I'm going to make another one. And uh, we're going to be using three main ingredients. As I said, we're going to use soda water. So you can use, you know, just your soda stream, which I use. I, I drink a lot, so I go have a soda stream. Uh, you'll need some um, lime juice. Uh, you can use lime from, or excuse me, lemon uh, juice. You can use lemon from a lemon. Um, and Or you can, you know, use this stuff. It's, it's really up to you. Um, again, I do a lot of drinks, so I have this. Um, about one lemon's worth, uh, maybe two, depending on how limey, lemony you like it. Okay, so uh, we have one espresso already made. We're going to make another one. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get going. So, WDD tool, um, whatever, I guess. I don't really do much with it. I just kind of use it to distribute. Um, you'll see a lot of people do one of these. Works as well. Uh, whatever you prefer. There it is. Okay, nice and easy. In we go. Um, I've weighed this. It's exactly 22 grams ahead of time on my first shot. So I am gonna be pulling 50 grams into this cup again. Um, I'm just doing it into my pitcher here because, uh, well, I have to use it anyway. Or, well, I don't actually, but it's what I decided to use today. Um, but it's going in this glass and this glass doesn't fit. So we're using the pitcher. And that's it. I've got my, you can't see my units. I can see it again. We've got 22 grams of coffee in here, so we're going to pull about 50. I'm not too discerning when it comes to drinks like these, um, although this is pretty dialed already. Um, as far as coffee, by the way, uh, we are using single origin of Nicaragua from Trader Joe's. Um, I've been looking around for sort of an everyday easy bean that's, you know, kind of light and um, in this case, very much the blueberry, um, very strong blueberry notes, um, and I just really thoroughly enjoy the berry notes. And I like this. It's only about twelve dollars. A lot of specialty coffee gear will, or beans bags will cost anywhere from like fifteen to twenty-five, thirty, forty, fifty dollars, right? So the nice thing about this is it's it's very light. Um, you know, they call it a medium roast, but it, it definitely sticks to the light side. And um, yeah, no, it's a good bean. Uh, again, it's nice and cheap. They always have it. Uh, I think the only downside to this is it's not super fresh. Best by date is July 2024. Um, I don't know if this is a date code for, uh, you know, when it was roasted. But if it was, then it was probably, you know, 18th of April 2023. So not, not too bad, but also not very fresh. But again, that's okay. We're not too discerning today. So let's pull our shot. Sorry about that. The uh, steaming one makes a noise if it's pushed too close. I don't actually need this anymore. Mm -hmm. I've timed this all ahead of time. At about 50 grams, I'm about 30 seconds, something like that. So there I am. Take this guy out. Okay, so we have our coffee. Let's just get this out of the way. It'll be fine. Just made a bit of a mess. There we go. Clean that all up later. Anyway. We've got a glass container here, we've got soda water, and we've got lime juice. So 
Uh, first, we need ice though. Okay, tray of ice. Uh, I mean, again, it doesn't really just personal preference at this point. I think the, um, the character driving characteristic of this drink is really how much lemon you put in. Um, too much lemon and you get coffee lemonade. Not enough lemon and you just sort of get bubbly coffee. Um, ice is not a huge impact um, because you're going to be topping it off with water anyway. So, yeah. I'm actually going to put this in here now that I think about it. because then I can show you how much that is. I'm guessing that's about 200 grams of ice. So we're gonna tear that. We should have about 100 milliliters of coffee. Before we do that, also, I've taken the dripper off here, so I'm gonna stick my finger on there. And then get, I'm just eyeballing this. I don't actually know how much this is gonna be, but well, it seems like a lot, but okay. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what I've done before. It, 30 milliliters, definitely a lot, but um, <laughs> that's what I've done. So this should be about 100. Put that on there. Yep, about 130 total. Very nice. And then just top it off with soda water. So the problem with the soda water and the, I think it's the coffee is, as you can see here, it's going to foam a lot. So just kind of want to be nice and careful with it. And uh, you can do this in steps, right? I don't know what it's going to happen here, but you might have to fill it up partially and then come back to it. Uh, it looks okay. So I think with the amount of lemon I added this time, we're definitely on the end of coffee lemonade or lemonade with coffee. Um, I guess it's a preference thing, but that looks about right. And we're going to get our lid here. Oh, so how much was that total? 310 in total. Not too bad. And there it is. Nice, simple drink. And actually not too lemony. Definitely a good combination. I'd say that's about in the middle. Um, if you're a fan of lemon, you'll enjoy it. Um, if you're not a fan of lemon and you just want a touch of lemon, I would go less than the 30 that I did. Um, but yeah. There you go, now you know how to make one of these. Not sure what the heck they are called, but uh, some coworkers asked about them, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you how they were made. Anyway, bye.